so the first thing we're going to do is we have it. We have everything available to us. We need to configure AVO, and so we'll hop into that package.json file, and this is what was generated for us. The only changes that have been made really are that it added these three dependencies. But what we want to do is we want to change our script for the test. So instead of echoing no test specified, what we'll do is actually run AVA. And so now if we hop back into our shell, we run npm test. You can see it tries to run AVA, but it couldn't find any test, and so it failed. So what we're going to do is we will just define and tell AVA also uh, this, this runs AVA, but it doesn't actually configure AVA. And so we'll hop down here in the bottom and we'll say AVA and we'll define what does it do. And really what we want to do is tell it to inherit from, or we want to tell it to have Babel inherit. And what this will do is it will tell AVA that whenever it, uh, whenever it starts up, that it needs to uh, load their Babel RC file. And that way, whatever we define for Babel prime most likely for Webpack or however we're building our JavaScript applications, Ava will follow that as well from our Babel RC. And then the other thing we need to do is we need to tell ba uh, Ava to require by default. And this can be an array or a string. I always do an array. And we're going to tell that we need to require a Babel register. And if you Google Babel register, it is a it's it's a part of Babel that basically means that it overrides the require. This is not something you'll probably want in development, uh, but in testing it's very handy because it allows you to write your ES2015 or whatever Babel configurations that you have and, and not have to do anything beforehand to make Ava work.